Oh yeah. Also, because uh, I think this is right. Happy International Women's Day today, right? Yes. Is it... yes happy yeah. International Women's Day. Happy International no, Women's Day, it's not everybody. Tomorrow? Because the the tenth is Mario Day, and I assumed that. Oh, Because last no. year, it, the whole Mario joke was that Women's Day came right before uh, Mario Day. Oh, no, Zach. You can't, you can't, you can't speak his name or he'll appear. Oh, well, no, we're not making that happen. Jesus. What the fuck? What is this, another fucking brick? Are you serious? Are you fucking... Hey, Zach. Sorry about your window. Again. Again? But I need your help. Remember how you scared Mario off during the last Chaos Punch-Out? Well, he came to the UK, and I'm worried he's gonna do something bad. Please come and scare him off again. You did it once, so it shouldn't be too hard. I'll give you a reward if you do a good job. He's definitely stronger since last time, so I recommend training a little first. But you still have Pete's eye. Sharingan question mark? So use that to give yourself an advantage. Also, I booked your flight already, and they gave me a two for one deal, so bring a friend. Yee yee, yee yee yee, soapy. <sighs> Jason, we're going to England. <laughs> Folks, what is up and welcome to another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hey! And our actual lawyer, Bridge. Hello. Folks, if you like this, you want to catch it live, you can do so on Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you want to support us, we'd really appreciate that. Head over to patreon.com slash save the team where for just two bucks a month, you get access to the full VOD channel of every single stream we do in their entirety. Five bucks lets you vote on one of our variety streams each month, as well as get your name included as an NPC in our D&D campaign saving throw. And at the $10 level and above, you get your name included in this month's brand new Patreon song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bun, Fluff Guff, Sunayama, Philo, Code, Abe, Hollucha, and Sofino. HSM, Earn Less, Crow Knight, Danny, and Lester, Kevin, Nation, Shadow, Navi. Witch Tower, Sky, Herlock, High, Taco, Sensei, Aki, Forensic, Technic, JFJ, Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, Chico Bell, Go Go, Zeppeli, Shepherdstein, T Flower, Relay Jolie, The Red Fighter, BBC, What and Sherlock's Zoom, Sillart, Ami, Borshock. Don't forget a Walner Walsh, Shiny Catter, P. Diego Garcia, Our Night Boomer, Emily. Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Conjuring Scribes, Yo Croissant, Fulfill of Written Word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla! Thank em, thank em, gotta thank em all, gotta thank em all our Patreons! But folks, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get back into the video game. Things are going great right now, you know? Yeah, and we're, and this, okay, fine, get, get up! Get up! No one buys it. You're faking. Oh shit! There's three locations. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we gotta go see Girthy Girthy Garadev. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else we can investigate in here first? Oh yeah, they made a deal out of that, didn't they? Uh, of like, now he's gone. Oh, the poor man, so young to die. Do you suppose it was a very painful death, being poisoned as he was? I don't know. All we can do now is hope that he'll be reborn to a better poisoned. life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. I wonder. Do you think that putting our hands together in a Japanese prayer will help a British soul? Sorry? 
I made sure I had a reference at the ready for just such an occasion as this, actually. I expected me to be encountering lots of dead bodies. <laughs> this book is entitled The Beginner's Guide to Praying for the Departed, The British Way. Oh, no. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta worry about the British church now. It says here you have to deposit several handfuls of chips on the dead person's body. <laughs> I'll just reread it now. One moment. There's quite a spine on that book, isn't there? All right, listen, Date. Unlike me. <laughs> and here we have another disproportionately large machine. This looks like a meter of some kind. Ah, this is a gas meter, I think. It seems that in this district, residents pay for gas as they use it with coins. Ah, I see. Yes, now that you've pointed it out, I can see that there's a slot just here that looks like it would take a coin. That's such a wild Yeah, concept. I know, right? The fact that you would feed the money directly into the meter in your yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. But, like... It makes sense. Of, yeah, it does. Make, but it's it's also, like... Because you do pay for gas as you use it, technically. Uh, yeah. It's just billed to you, mm -hmm. but in this case, you just have to, like, physically give them money. That's Yeah, that's wild. That's so weird. Does somebody have to... Does a fucking, like, Chuck E. Cheese... Have to come into your house ...coin and slot operator... It? Yeah, I guess <laughs> they like, would. Yeah, I'm here yeah. to open up your box. Yeah. yeah. That's so wild. That's so weird. Yeah, that's very strange. So you mean, if you put a coin in here, do you play a game... <laughs> yes, I, I'm so good at ski ball. That would buy you about two hours of gas for lights and heating. So, if you were a poor person with no money, you'd have to sleep in the freezing cold? That's how real life works, Ryan, unfortunately, yeah. Yes. That has not changed. Yeah. <laughs> or if you were a scatterbrain with no change because you've got to exchange your money at the bank. Thank goodness there's no meter in our office. Uh, let's look at this chipped off thing. Oh. What's this? Looks like part of an envelope, I think. Yes, I think you may be right. Perhaps it was torn off when the letter was opened. Is that significant? Well, it's a little out of place, perhaps. When you look around, when you look around the room, there's no sign of a letter or the rest of the envelope, in fact, is there? Ah. Huh. She's right. And yet here we have the torn off end of an envelope. It just strikes me as unusual. I agree. We better take this, just in case. <laughs> just stealing mail. Taking this person's mail. Mm -hmm. We just committed mail fraud. Uh -huh. That's federal, baby. Aww. Damn, who put why the Onceler's hat? Who yeah. he, he stole the Onceler's hat? What the fuck? How bad ad, ad, ad can I be? <laughs> look at these extravagant bright costumes. Somehow they look out of place in this room with its grim shady goings on. Will the real grim shady please stand <laughs> up? This one looks like a king's attire. A king? I've always dreamt of being a king. I can I mean, just picture it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I th oh, I think you'd be more suited to a feudal lord, a daimyo or such like. With a really? Is this pronounced Chan Mage? It can't be, right? I mean, that, if it's that... a Japanese word, it would be like Chon Mage. Yeah, probably. But yeah, Chon Mage probably. Sounds... That makes way more sense. Yep. Yeah. With a chonmage top knot, every Japanese man wishes he had a chonmage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look wonderful with one, and you already have the sword. Can you imagine what would happen if I walked around the streets of London with a chonmage and a sword? I get. I, I'm guessing chonmage is like when we played uh, yeah, Ishii. Yeah, yeah. What a lot of like the Yakuza, hairstyle yeah. was. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Croissant says, Chon Mage is my new D&D &D class. <laughs> That's really fucking good. You got me on that one. This 
This is some sort of makeshift, makeshift stage, I think, isn't it? Where does the audience sit, though? <laughs> For the nightly Shakespeare performances. Actors aspiring to the great stage must practice their art, Mr. Narahodo, with or without an audience. Oh, that's, that's very yeah, true. Yeah, folks. We'd, we'd be here even if you weren't. <laughs> But thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you. <laughs> in fact, on a related note, perhaps you should set up a mock bench, a mock bench for the defense in your office. What? <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> then you could practice your art every single day. I'll think about it. If you promise to don a beard and play the role of judge. <laughs> well, if. If that would help you achieve your goal. Shisato is getting really comfortable pre presenting masculine in this game, and I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> uh huh. This I have <laughs> to see. Uh, I think that's the last thing that, like, I guess, oh, the window. As we've seen from the outside, the window is completely bricked up. A vestige of the former window tax the Britons had to pay. What strange things they used to tax in Great Britain. I mean, making people pay for the number of windows they had in their property. It's extraordinary. 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 It's heartbreaking to think of the poor having to block up their windows just to avoid an unaffordable tax. Oh. Uh, what is it, Miss Susato? If you look closely, a number of the bricks are loose. Oh... Oh, oh, more so! What? <laughs> I was gonna, Wait, I was gonna. I think I figured you. it out. What? Soapy, it was you. <laughs> the soap always returns to the scene of the crime, Soapy, was... and it looks like you've left your signature calling card <laughs> of the scene. I was gonna say, I usually, I, I expected him to like smoke and like breathe out the <laughs> window. <laughs> <laughs> That's really Take good. her away. That's really good. Chat. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> oh, yes. It looks as though an amateur has broken out a few of them just here. Was it Mr. Shamspear who did it, I wonder? Being the lodger renting the room. Ah, look at this, Mr. Narahodo. On the outside, there's a little ledge. And there's something on it. What? Outside? Are we supposed to click round on it the again? outside? Round yeah. the outside? Ugh, it's so cold outside. You can feel it through this gap. It did snow all last night. It would be cold. But more importantly, what is on the ledge out there? What are those snow covered lumps? My lovely snow covered lumps. Check them out. <laughs> it's. More bars of soap. Soap? What are bars of soap doing lined up on a ledge outside of the window? I have no idea. But the pair of them look rather charming like that. <laughs> what? Still, that's very strange. Susato goes over there, takes them, and is like, Look, they're kissing. Yeah, I was going to say she does the... Uh... Mwah. <laughs> the Patrick and... Or the Squidward and the Pickle bit. Oh. Uh... Uh, see, I was going to say, uh, what's his name? The director of uh, um, Parasite when he won his uh, second Oscar. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Bars of soap lined up outside the window. I think perhaps we should take one. There are two after all. And uh, you kind of smell. <laughs> oh, dear. I suppose we could. Oh, what's this? Look here at this soap. <laughs> Look at this soap! <laughs> <sighs> Very good. Do you see? In the middle here. There's a patch that's a different color. It's, it's sort of transparent, but... Some sort of some fancy design, I suppose. <laughs> Only in Great Britain! <laughs> Boom, boop, -a 
It looks like the Hinamaru flag of Japan, doesn't it? How wonderful! Just because it has a red circle in the middle, I feel like that's a strange... <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! This person got shot in the chest! It looks just like a Hinamaru <laughs> flag of Japan! Assuming he's wearing a white shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. It's a... It's probably a very expensive brand. Y'all, no, it's not an expensive brand of soap. Yeah, what's it doing in this room? Damn, do they have Irish Spring? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> expensive? Then, what it's, then what's it doing in this ramshackle old room? The bar of soap has been entered into the core record. Well, I gotta... I wanna look at that, actually. Oh, look at the floorboard. If we can... Take it off. This part is a different color. It's an exquisite design, isn't it? it, it it's a I'm, circle. No, <laughs> no, it's not. Trust the British to turn a boring <laughs> spar of soap into something special. I quite like it. It reminds me of the Hinamaru design of the Japanese flag. Susato, you just said that. I expect this is a rather expensive Why don't soap. either of you suspect to remove it? <laughs> I don't want to have to wait until the first day of court for this to come up. Oh, my God. It's, it looks like the Japanese flag. It must be expensive. <laughs> it doesn't seem likely, given who it belongs to. Damn it. Well, nope. I guess we'll... That's nothing. Have to wait till we'll, it's important later. Yeah, well, eventually we'll find the uh, the secret. Uh, what's, I don't know. What's the, what's the paper we have in our... Sorry, can you go back to our evidence? Yeah. What's the piece of paper we have? That's the... Part from the, oh this no not that one uh, oh okay oh wow yes okay. from the previous case okay so we just still happen uh, to have oh that. yeah wow oh wow yeah it looked like uh and then the, the other, other one of, is is it, is it a list of this book? books oh, hey, you can, oh you can examine this though you can examine that uh, oh yeah oh yeah it looks like wood now <laughs> yeah yeah whoever opened it looks this like the, it looks like the state of Florida. <laughs> Or Oklahoma. I was going to say, it's giving me Oklahoma vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Never opened this envelope. Didn't bother with a letter opener or scissors, did they? Yes. Whoever opened it was clearly someone with an unrefined temperament. And judging from the angle of the rip here, the person in question must have been right-handed. Miss Sato. I think perhaps... Someone's been reading a bit too much of The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. You can never read too much of it, Mr. Narahoto. Never. <laughs> oh, wait, hey, Zach, go back to that. Go back to that. Now flip it, flip it over. Uh, and and make like, turn it upside, like, make it, look, write it a little bit. Now, Chad, do you see that? God damn it. Do you see that? It's fucking it's, F. Well, it's, it's way, way, no, way down in the, right next to it in very small print. Do you all see that? Oh my god, they fucking got us. I hate you. I hate you that I'm that you made me have to do an edit making fun of me. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm mad about it. Uh, I think that's it though for this room. I'm not uh, this isn't important. I'm not going to look at the lamp. I don't want to talk to Garadeb, so let's let's do that. Uh Oh, Gurthatron. Not Girthatron. The worst transformer. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you can't ignore him. Uh, that's funny. Um, he is truly more than meets the eye. <laughs> God damn it. He's he's a grower, not a shower. This sucks. <laughs> uh <laughs> Uh, here we are again. The eccentric uh, landlord. Ah, shit. Here we are <laughs> here again. Here we go again. The eccentric landlord's eccentric top floor abode. We're here because Mr. Garadeb's the one who discovered the incident this morning. Don't forget. Ah, you chaps, eh? Yes. Good morning, sir. Thank you for your uh, cooperation in court yesterday. It was quite a trial. Oh, wow. This was yesterday? Yeah, this is literally the day after we yeah. got his wife sent to jail. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> this man loves us right now. <laughs> as much for Mr. Garadeb, uh, as much for Mr. Garadeb as anyone, really. Came straight back here after all that business with the bailer yesterday. Didn't expect to wake up to more belly nonsense this morning. I wonder if you wouldn't mind telling us exactly what happened, Mr. Garadeb. Yes, I suppose you'd like to know all about that dead loss of an actor chap in the ground floor room. Damn. That's what they'll say about me when I die. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Everybody gives Zach some hugs now. <laughs> uh, those were exactly Inspector Gregson's words, weren't they? Oh. Oh, stand oh. up. I guess this is what Incredible. This, this is his sprite when he's standing behind Yeah, the, that's true. The jury. Or not the jury, the uh Witness. Sorry, I've been sitting in my brown pants for a little too long, and I needed to stand up and air them out. Sorry, sorry. I, it, it's a little hard to tell because of your lisp. Did you say sitting in your brown pants or shitting in your brown pants? <laughs> 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 little column A, little column B. <laughs> uh, really quick, somebody said to examine the medal for some funny dialogue. Good to see Mr. Garadeb's Medal of Honor still proudly displayed on the wall. The inscription reads, for distinguished participation, if you remember. Yes, I remember. Because I remember thinking even I might stand a chance of picking up honors like that. Damn. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt to look at me now, perhaps, but I had my devil may care. I had my devil may cry days, you know. <laughs> me and Dante, Dante would... <laughs> <laughs> We would go tearing up demons and hell spawn, you know. <laughs> Devil May Cry? I haven't heard of that game franchise before. <laughs> D yeah, Capcom published that, didn't they? <laughs> oh, shit. Devil May Care? What did you get up to? Damn it, now I just want to see Garadeb going up to his wife and being like, I wanted to be the one to feel your dark soul <laughs> is light! <laughs> Well, all in the past now, of course. And best left there. Best not? I want to know now! <laughs> I want to know now, Daddy! Daddy, please? Can I know now, Daddy? It must have been a real shock for you this morning. I hear that you, dis that you discovered what happened. Ah, well, uh, that hopeless actor chap rises at five o'clock sharp every morning without fail. <laughs> I always hear every morning the big black bug bit the big black bear, and the big black bear bred blood. Wow, that was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> but at 5.30 this morning, he, uh, he still hadn't lit the gas. So I went down and knocked on his door, but no belly answer. And that's when you broke into his room by kicking down the door? Well, <laughs> I called on that rum-looking Japanese chap to do the grunt work, of course. What does that mean? To say rum someone looking? is rum-looking. He looks like rum. He looks like Captain I mean, I, Morgan. I really, I really and Johnny Depp shows up and is like, thing. why is all the rum gone? Uh, Soapy says uh, it means strange. I mean, that's... That makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. What is rum? <laughs> that's good. Oh, baby, don't drink me. <laughs> Wasn't it a little premature to kick the door down? The man could have just overslept by half an hour. That's very true, Mr. Narahoto. If 30 minutes oversleeping warranted such behavior, I'd have to kick your door down every morning. The fuck? Uh, well, um, <laughs> you know, better to be safe than sorry after all, and all that. Why is he sweating and shaking so much? <laughs> is it just me? Is he avoiding our gaze now of all of a sudden? Except that it was a sorry situation indeed that you found on the far side of the door. If 
The victim's name is Mr. Shamspear, I believe. Is that right? Yes, William Shamspear. Took the ground floor room three months ago now. And how would you describe him? Dead. In a word, destitute. Destitute? Well, let's face it, the only redeeming feature of that womb is the cheap rent. God damn. Anyone wanting to live in a place like that is either broke or has a belly screw loose. So hard to choose which which category Soseki san would fall into. <laughs> no, I think he was just broke. <laughs> right. Yeah. So mean. Mr. Narahodo, that's a little rude. Did you hear me think that? <laughs> I'm one of your female teenage assistants. Of course I do. Yeah. Of course I can read your mind. <laughs> he was doing research as well. Research? Into what? Shakespeare. Oh, wait. Shakespeare is real. I mean, okay. I, mean, uh -oh. I guess that makes no, they, sense. They, they already it's said just... Shakespeare earlier. Oh, did, did they? they? Okay. No, I missed it. When when we were looking at the stage in his house, uh, okay. Ryan was like, "Oh." Then why it. has nobody? Why has nobody like laughed at his name? Then <laughs> do puns not exist in this world? Yeah. Oh my god, we figured it out. It, it seems wild. This, this is yeah. this is this is this is Zach's universe zero. <laughs> this is the universe that Zach came from, <laughs> and he invented puns and brought it to the multiverse. Wait, does that mean that I isekai'd into this world? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Shakespeare, of course. Shakespeare. Oh, I'm gonna write that easy guy. I make I made lots of puns and they got resurrected into a world where there's no puns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Read a few plays with the old bard myself, you know? Romeo and Hamlet and all that. <laughs> okay, it's funny. That's the gay uh, cross that's the gay uh, crossover <laughs> pick we all yeah. <laughs> Yes, William Shakespeare is English, England's most highly regarded classical play playwright and author. He's known as Sao in Japanese, as you know, and many of his works have already been translated. It seems incredible that Shakespeare was shortened to Sao, though. Someone was too heavy-handed there. <laughs> there were a lot of costumes in the victim's room, actually, weren't there? Of course, Mr. Natsume is a scholar of English literature as well. I imagine he and Mr. Shamspear would have had much in common. Shakespeare interpretation disagreement leads to shocking murder! Let's hope it's not that. <laughs> Mr. Narahodo, really, how rude. So, uh, sorry about your wife. <laughs> After Mr. Natsume's trial yesterday, you came straight back here, I believe, didn't you? Did you notice anything strange between then and this morning? Well, now, must have been about six in the evening by the time I got home. Snow is coming down rather heavily, as I remember, and it was completely dark already. That failed actor chap was out at the time. Mr. Geradeb noticed there was no light from his room or something, I suppose. Couldn't summon the energy for anything much, so uh, I just sat in front of the fire up here. It was after eight before Sham Spear got back. And the chap was up until past one in the morning, I'll have you know. Suppose he met his end some time after that. I was asleep by then, so I'm rather in the dark there. Well, thank you. That was very illuminating. Is everything all right, Miss Susato? Well, I was just thinking it's a little strange, that's all. Mr. Garadab, you were up here in your room all evening, if I've understood correctly. Not a big fan of stairs, or with his blasted leg. Then, how is it that you seem to know the precise movements of your tenants on the ground floor, I mean? Ah! 
Southern Nick's uh, a, a good reaction for him, right? I think so. What? Uh, uh. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I, I I didn't do anything. He just slowly came back. Yeah, that was cool. That's a very good point. I can't imagine that you could hear noises from the ground floor all the way up here. Does this old man like to spy on his tenants? Is that it? I say, I know what you're thinking, and it's a belly outrage. I'm ex-military, don't you know? I don't go around spying on my tenants, or why would I? Then how did you know, Mr. Garrett? It's the gas, woman. The gas tells me everything. Huh? After I eat Taco Bell, <laughs> after I eat Cheeky Nando's... I can see the future. It's the, 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 that's what Cheeky Nando's does, don't you know? <laughs> the, the, the gas? <laughs> Not speaking gas. Speak. <laughs> do, you speak, gas. do you speak Do you gas? speak gas? Do you speak gas, sir? <laughs> shout out to the... Shout out, uh, shout, shout, squeak, squeak, squeaker, squeak and squeak. Shout out to One Piece where there's a character that literally speaks with farts. No way. It fucking sucks. Uh, fucking Jim Carrey, Ace Ventura looking ass no. bullshit. No. Listen, folks, I'm going to do a big video explaining all of One Piece later this year, and you'll you'll hear about this when we get there. Incredible. What on earth do you mean, sir? How can the gas tell you anything, let alone everything? Well, as you're probably aware, the, ga the gas is supplied to the building by pipes. Yes, I'd more or less work that out. Every room in the building is connected by a single pipe to the gas main outside. And the gas company supplies gas to properties via the main. Yes, I understand that too. Let me see if I can explain. Let's say I was to light the gas lamps up here. What do you suppose would happen? Well, obviously the room would get brighter. Exactly. But at the same time, the lights in all the other rooms of the house would dim for a moment. What? They dim? Why? Perhaps it's because when you light a gas lamp, it briefly uses more gas than usual. And that reduces the amount of gas in the pipe for the other lamps that are connected to it. That might explain why the other lamps dim momentarily, mightn't it? Yes, of course, because everything's connected to a single supply pipe. Is that supposed to happen, though? It sounds rather undesirable. Jolly good point. Fact is, the gas company's pipes in these parts are pretty hopeless. Uh, long worn out. They barely got any gas in them to start with. Opposites also to, of course, extinguish the lamps up here, and they glow brighter in the rest of the house. Oh, right, I, I see. So by watching the flickering of the lamps in one room, you can determine what's happening elsewhere. You've got it. Oh, of course, because when people come back home in the evening and before they go to sleep at night, what they're guaranteed to do is either light or put out their lamps and fires. Clever. In point of fact, the room on the ground floor and the one above it use slightly different amounts of gas. By watching the lights in here closely, I can work out almost exactly what's going on in the whole house. Gosh, that's fascinating, Mr. Garadab. Absolutely fascinating. Is it? Is it, though? <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you were such a nerd. <laughs> oh, well, nothing to it, really. I can't really see how that's going to help us with the case, either. What I'd like to know... It's why Mr. Garadeb is so interested in what his tenants are up to in the first place. I feel like yeah. there's more to it than idle curiosity. And Mackie in the oh. chat says, gas lamps sound like a terrible fire hazard. Well, it's a good thing nothing bad has ever happened in London vis-a-vis -vis fire. So, 
again. It's fine. God yeah, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Soapy's cast. Instantly six times. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else we really need to do up here right now, right? We don't have anything that's like... Present the soap. you know anything about this soap? Yeah. Uh, yes, I have a bit. I have a uh, bit raw, aren't I? No, this is just going to be the generic. <laughs> <laughs> Him getting into that motion quickly is really funny to me. It is really funny. All right. Well. So, who do we got left to see? We can go Soseki outside and... or Soseki in prison. Let's go outside first since yeah. we would go there. Okay. Oh, Never great. mind. Nothing here. All See right. you later. Unless they want us to look at this Doodle. fucked up bike. Oh, yeah. Oh, could. and you can see the soap Maybe outside. That's... Oh, great. Okay. Well. Maybe that's our bike. There always seems to be a bicycle outside the Garadab residence. I read that bicycles are extremely popular all over Great Britain at the moment, in fact. That one seems very... Warped, though. Especially the front wheel. Is that to make it more of a challenge to ride, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Biking hard mode. <laughs> Is this one of those new Pelotons? <laughs> no, I'm afraid that may be a result of the rider's incompetence. For the front wheel to be so badly warped, I'm afraid the rider may have been similarly afflicted. <laughs> then... There's a good chance Mr. Natsume has been practicing on this bicycle, I think. Wait, are you saying that that's Pac-Man's bike? They really dunk on his ass so much. <laughs> oh dear. I fear you may be right. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, I guess. We'll, oh, we'll yeah, you can examine the gate. It looks like it might be kind of fucked up. Oh, maybe no. not. I guess we'll it's just the bush. See if it says anything. The exception of the top floor where Mr. and Mr. Mrs. Garadeb live. All the windows are bricked up. Well, Mrs. Garadeb used to live there. Now she's in jail. Right. <laughs> yes, that's because of an old window tax that was charged on the number of windows a property had. In order to pay less tax, the poorer members of society filled in many of their windows. Yeah, yeah. But the tax has since been abolished, hasn't it? So the windows could all be opened up again, surely. Unfortunately, it would appear that the residents of this district can't afford to pay to have the work done. Yes, that is a sad state of affairs. Especially for people like poor Mr. Natsume, who have to live all cooped up in a windowless room. I suppose that's the price you pay for living in a very cheap accommodation. It all seems rather pointless when you put it like that. <laughs> Alright, let's go say hi to Natsume. Da, 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 da. Saucy, my main man. How's it going? About saucy nuts, Meg. <clears throat> nope. Never mind. Uh, See you later, Saucy. Uh, yeah. I mean, sometimes they leave her be for a while. <coughs> okay, I think we need to spend a little more time investigating. Oh, great. Look at that. Thank you, video game. Incredible. I'm not there yet. Yeah. We... Wake up. What are we missing? Oh, the cup? Oh, the cup. Ah, one of the teacups that Mr. Shamsby and his guests drank from last night. But don't go drinking from them, Mr. Nar but don't go drinking from them, Mr. Narahodo. There's bitter poison inside. I'm not planning on drinking any, don't worry. Anyway, the cups are both empty. That's true. So, one was Mr. Shamsby's. And the other must be the cup that Mr. Natsume was drinking from. But so seki san wasn't poisoned, of course. Perhaps we should take these. Perhaps we should take these so we can examine them in more detail later. Uh, there you okay. go. Incredible. That's probably what we. Yep. Hey, we did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's literally. Thank you, all video we game, for telling Fantastic. us. Yeah. Oh. Looks like you're having a good snoop around, eh? Uh, <coughs> Inspector Gregson. Back oh no! Actually, so soon. that was Swedish. That was Swedish bailiff who said that. <laughs> right, right. I forgot that that's a canon character now. Yeah, absolutely. After I threw that little Japanese fellow in the clink, I went and reported this to the investigation division. 
In five minutes' time, this place will be cordoned off by the yard. Oh, I see. Well, we'd better be leaving then. Poor Mr. Natsume's Bussy Vic must be feeling very low being back in a cell again so soon. I'm sure. We should oh! probably go ah! and. Ah! Ah! Ah, zombie! <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Narahoda? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. A zombie! Oh my god. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player. <laughs> that struts and frets his eye upon the stage and then is heard no more. Now, how soundeth the next part? Bro just said, line. <laughs> he did. <laughs> it is a tale <gasps> told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Gregson with the good Shakespeare Gregson joke. Culture. Yo. Gregson yes. Culture. We got it, boys. Yo, Gregson with the good Shakespeare burn. Listen. That's awesome. Gregson. Gregson's showing off his brains. He's gaining a few points. Pridge, or well, Pridge too, I suppose. But and Wes, how how good is your Shakespeare? Do you know more past to be or not to be? That is the question. To whether it is nobler in the mind, maybe nobler in the mind to, to, to suffer, suffer the, the slings, slings and arrows. Is it outrageous fortune? Outrageous or fortune. To take, yeah, or to take arms against them and. Uh, something after that. No, I can't you did, you did better than. I'm more of a St. Crispin's Day speech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Folks, we really got to do our uh, Shakespeare reading that we promised almost a year ago. Yo! Hell, oh. indeed! Oh, happy day! <laughs> <laughs> he just, Dude, just fucking he death, death dropped! <laughs> Holy shit! The lip sync. For your life. Yeah, ain't trying to be cool like you. Wobbling around. Yes, it'd be queen. Great, it'd be great if he was really dead this time. <laughs> 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 Walking dead. <laughs> Coming Coral. on this Friday on AMC. <laughs> Coral. <laughs> Norman Reedus in. With his son, oh, Mingus God. Reedus. Mingus. <laughs> Gotta love Reedus. Mingus. Mingus be Mingan. Mm -hmm. the, the fella isn't dead at all. What was that nonsense he was saying, though? Ryan's I don't know. I was too busy watching him slay. <laughs> I think, yes, it was from William Shakespeare's Macbeth. I love the Macbeth. I always order it with a large fry and a Coke. <laughs> That's good. A soliloquy from Act 5, Scene 5. Shakespeare. <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> Ellipses, end of scene. So it was. <laughs> the victim, Mr. William Shamspear, came back to life. If the man had indeed been poisoned, it transpired that it hadn't killed him. He was taken by emergency carriage to a nearby hospital for treatment. And there's a guy who's driving the carriage who goes, Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> and Inspector Gregson evicted us from the scene of the crime, whatever that now was. <laughs> oh, hey, it's that other dude. Hey, it's the other guy. It's Popeye. Yeah. Whatever do you think will happen now? Well, hopefully he gets let out of prison because he didn't die. <laughs> Good question. What a strange situation for Mr. Natsume. Arrested for murder, but then the victim comes back to life. It's like that's almost happened twice. For, he keeps getting, yeah, he keeps getting arrested for not murders. Yeah. In a game with lots of murders. Yeah. 
He's the luckiest unlucky person ever. <laughs> I know, right? I think perhaps the victim was never dead in the first place. It seems very likely that Mr. Shamspear did consume poison, as we deduced. But was it an accident? Attempted suicide? Or attempted murder? <laughs> I thought you should... An accident? Attempted suicide? Or attempted accident? <laughs> Until the truth can be established, I imagine the police will keep Mr. Natsume in custody. I suppose so. Let's hope it doesn't come to anything more than, than a night in the cells. Oh, what's this? This man's looking at the soap. What's this man doing over there? Looks like he's trying to see into Suseki-san's lodgings. Yeah. Is something wrong, Mr. Narahodo? I do love the sprite of her just, like, turning to be like, what are you looking at? Yeah, I <laughs> it's know. It's very funny to me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, could we have a word? <laughs> what? Did he run away or is he coming towards us? Okay, no. Oh, no, he just ran off. All right. He just ran off. I feel sure that I've seen that man somewhere before. Where was it? Well, technically it was like one day ago, but realistically it's but... been half a year at least. Yeah. Hmm. I do too, but I don't remember. Well, we've done as much investigating here as we can, I think. Perhaps we ought to go to the prison and speak with Mr. Natsume again. A good idea. Hmm. <clears throat> Thank you, video game, for telling us what to do. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> poor, poor Natsume. Man. Uh, look, Mr. Narodo. A loser. <laughs> <laughs> it's saucy mm. Natsume. <laughs> Mr. Natsume, have the police finished questioning you now? Locum shooted Mr. Donahoe Esquire! Oh, yes. What is he? Tell me! Is he a ghost? Is he here to haunt me? Let me guess. You're talking about Mr. Sholmes. He actually calls himself a great detective, Mr. Natsume. Not a ghost. <laughs> but, but his diabolical deductions, they're not of this world. They've... they've They've left me! Yeah, I'm cursed! I'm cursed, I tell you! Well, that sort of hurts. <laughs> credit where credit credit where credit is due, Mr. Narahoto. You were heavily involved in the deduction too. Yes, um <clears throat> moving on. We have some wonderful news. Oh, the victim that we all thought was dead has come back to life again. <laughs> I don't know if you say it like that. You know, in the absolutely worst case, you could only be tried for attempted murder. That's <laughs> great, isn't it, Mr. Natsume? <laughs> it's terrible! Oh, I'm stuck in this cell, suffering for some silly wrong end of the stick! You did it, didn't you? Confess! You're a killer! Why the moustache? <laughs> well, they got a point. <laughs> it's a flavor saver, alright! Oh no! Constant questions! I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, <laughs> that selfish shyster! Make up your mind! Are you dead or alive? If you were going to come back to life, why bother dying? Wickedly wishy washy William! <laughs> well, it seems likely that Mr. Shamspear was never actually dead in the first place. Ah, uh, yes, uh, that might make sense. And I'm Pleased that he's alive, of course. Our lively debate last night was much fun. I'd be sad to think it was our last. Oh, so you are good friends with this guy. 
Oops. You fucking idiot. <laughs> um, Mr. Natsume, does that mean that you did see the victim last night? You met with Mr. Shamspear, didn't you? I'm not saying another word until I have a lawyer. Well, you fucking Who idiot. do you think I am? I demand to have a lawyer present. Please, Mr. Natsume, we need to hear your side of the story. Uh, why am I cursed like this? Can you tell us exactly what happened last night then, Mr. Natsume? Hee <laughs> hee! There's nothing to tell. But, <laughs> Mr. Naruto Esquire, I'm eternally grateful to you for helping me with that cursed case yesterday the case saw the, the case that saw the poor miss green hospitalized after she ended up with a knife in her back it's hard to believe that was only yesterday yeah it is kind of hard to believe yeah. that <laughs> after the trial was over i trudged my weary way back to my lowly lodgings and that evening, at uh, past nine, it must have been, I visited Mr. Shamspear. So, you did go to the victim's room, then? As we feared. I didn't do anything wrong! I'd never been to his room before! It was the first time! Then, what made you decide to go? Oh, I, I bumped into him when I arrived back at the house. We got chatting, and it developed into a discussion. Bro, you also literally just said, I enjoyed <laughs> we our got discussions, to chat plural, and now you're like, this is the I first know. time. We just got to chatting, and, you know, one thing led to another, and then, you know, my tongue was in his mouth. <laughs> Wes, Simple stuff. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> But he had to go out, so I bade him farewell. That ties in with what Mr. Garadem said, that the victim went out and came back after eight. We met again later that evening at around nine, or just after, when I took him some nice tea I'd brewed as a gift. So it was... With my special poison. Wait a minute, what? So it was you who brought the tea that had clearly been drunk at the scene then? And, uh, I suppose you were discussing the works of Shakespeare, weren't you? Uh, yes, uh, that's right. Uh, that's exactly right. Romeo and Juliet, who was the strong... <laughs> Yo. Fuck, that's so good. Romeo v. Juliet in the death battle Yo, of the Tybalt, century. Tybalt was pretty Give good. Tybalt was pretty good, but I think Juliet could have actually taken him, you know? <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. Who was the stronger? It was a delightful debate. UFC I'm to sure. <laughs> Romeo v. Juliet. <laughs> Juliet with the chair! Admission covers the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. <laughs> Such a it's like oh genuinely the first person to write that line. I hope that they get residuals on that. And I know they don't, but they deserve it. So Sparks so will fly. Sparks will fly and stars will cross oh, this Sunday. That's good. Oh. <sighs> Such a stimulating subject, Shakespeare. Okay, I think they're. I think they're. Uh... <laughs> and the debate became very heated. So you slipped poison oh into God. Mr. Shamspear's tea. No, never, not at all. <laughs> I did not Team poison. <laughs> Oh my god! Team Juliet. They're having a fucking T Edward Edward Jacob fight. Yep. Team Juliet won! That was me! And when I left his room, the flamboyant fellow was fighting feet! I swear it categorically! Okay. 
Mr. Natsume, you often say the same thing about your you often say the same thing about yourself, I've noticed. You have a cursed That you are quote goated with the sauce? <laughs> the saucy nuts make. <laughs> I'm sure I've mentioned this to you before, but I've been here in Great Britain for a year now, and in that time I've learned that it's no place for me. It can be very trying to live in a foreign land and adapt to the ways of another culture. There are foreigners everywhere I look, and they all stare at me. They all laugh. That's the impression I get whenever I go out. It makes me scared to leave my room. Which is why I've become a recluse. But even in my room, I find no respite from my fears. I've moved more times than I can remember. And then, one week ago, I moved into Briar Road. God, he's only lived here for a week, too. My guy. Jesus. But why? I mean, why did you choose that place? It doesn't seem very comfortable. Because the rent is cheap. I have so little money, it spoke to me. You can speak to the I'm guys, really, too. I, I'm really uh, into this one new British Parliament candidate. His slogan is that the rent is too damn high. <laughs> wow. I was like, where are you going with wow. this one? But yeah, yeah. We're going, we're going there. The rent is too damn high. I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there's a reason why it's cheap. Because the room is cursed. Cursed? Cursed how? The previous occupant, the man who lived there before I took the room, died there. Oh no! He was only a young man, but one morning he was found dead, and no one could explain why. Surely no one would want to live in a room with a history like that. Oh no, my goth girlfriend is totally <laughs> into it. I didn't. When the letting agent recommended the place, I wavered. But I want books, and books cost money. A horrible history is a small price to pay. When I realized it would mean I could buy more books, I, I signed the lease like lightning. Brave. Or blinkered. But after I moved in, I, I soon came to realize what I'd done. I realized how horrible that room's history really was. Gosh, was it really so awful? How did the room's horrible history affect you, Mr. Natsume? What happened? Uh, at, at first, it was just a feeling. A feeling of beady eyes boring into my back, watching me. Do you think that might have just been your mind playing tricks on you? No, 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 no. My mind doesn't know any tricks. <laughs> it was someone else. <laughs> That's really That's good. That's really funny, yeah. <laughs> That's very good. It's been one long nightmare ever since I was g g given the keys to the place. A nightmare? You've been having bad dreams, you mean? All, all the souls who've d died in the, that room lean over me in my sleep and try to strangle me. That really is horrible. And now I come to think of it, it happened again last night, too. The very same night that Mr. Shamspear was writhing in agony from the poison in his body. I was on the verge of being suffocated silently by those miserable spirits in my room. You simply must move out of that room as soon as possible. Yes, you're right. I know it, and that's why... I'm already searching for the next room with a history to call home. 
I think perhaps you should try to avoid accommodation with any kind of history at all. Otherwise, I'm scared that you yourself may become history. That's funny. Phew. Susatu-san knows how to make the men listen. Or the man listen. Of course, Mr. Lord of the Manor is worried about the curse on my room as well. You mean Mr. Garadab? Yes. He knows that if people keep dying there, he'll never be able to rent it out again. Well, that's true. I, for one, wouldn't go near the place. Ah, perhaps. That may explain why the landlord pays so much attention to the gas lamps and his tenants' movements. You mean because he's worried about their well-being? He does seem to have an unusually keen interest in the amount of gas in the pipes. There must be a reason why he keeps such close tabs on the, on the occupants of his let rooms. What do you mean, he pays so much attention to the gas lamps? Oh dear, no, it's nothing to do with you, Mr. Natsume. Please, forget I said anything. Oh, now you're talking about me behind my back as well. What's important Jeez, is that Mr... This guy. I, I know, right? What's important <laughs> is that Mr. Shamspear isn't in fact dead at all. Once he's come round, he'll be able to tell us what happened, and we'll be able to get you released. Yes, please. Oh, I do hope you're right. And he's going to come up and be like, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> Ahem. Excuse me. Well, you, can we be anywhere without you? Inspector Gregson. Couldn't help overhearing what you just said. And on that note. How long have you been listening again? I have some good news and some bad news. <sighs> oh. Which do you want first? I think I'm going to do a bit about this. Always, every time, the bad news comes first. When hope is all you have, hold on to it. That's my guiding principle. That's a Sosekiism. <laughs> so, some cliche anime bullshit right there. Alright, well, in that case, the good news it is. <laughs> huh? Sorry, but it's just a lot easier to explain everything that Then way. why did you give us the option, Gregson? <laughs> then why did you ask me my preference? Thank you. <laughs> As you might have heard, the victim, Mr. Shamspear, was just unconscious. He's come round now. Yes, we saw it happen in all its terrifying glory. He's still being treated by the doctors, but we've managed to get a written statement from him already. Oh, isn't that wonderful, Mr. Natsume? Oh, thank goodness. It's all over then. I can leave this somber cell. Sorry, no. That's not on the cards. God damn it. What? Why have a not, Inspector? Mr. Shamspear has implicated someone as being responsible for what happened last night. Implicated someone? Oh dear. You, you, you don't mean... Sorry to say I do, yes. He's pointing the finger at you, Mr. Natsume. God damn it. <laughs> By sweet... Poison did he seeketh, seeketh to end my life. That wickedst caitiff Soseki Natsume. No! So I'm afraid you'll be appearing in court as planned. You'll be wanting to make the necessary preparations. <laughs> no! And so, once again, Soseki-san found himself having to take the dock in the Old Bailey. Whether his room was haunted, or whether he was just terribly unlucky, I knew I had no choice. The following day, I would represent him in court, and do my utmost to break the curse that blighted him. They're gonna do a... Uh, no way! Whoa! 
That that took a long time to get to. It was a yeah. It yeah. was a really long uh, dark screen there. <laughs> long blackout. Are we all right? There's no. We're Damn. still we're still have to investigate, right? Uh, no trial. No. Oh we're my trial. god. Wow. Hell yeah. What? This 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 case rocks. Video game. I like this one. This one's yeah, good. I mean, Chad. We, we gotta start the, Chad, the trial. Chad, this one's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 